Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. We are continuing on in the third case of the game, The Inherited Turnabout. Alright, April 2nd, 10.42am, Zodiac Art Gallery, Fountain Patio. Hmm... Things have gotten a little crazy here in the present. <laughs> Mr. Shields, how is the victim? It looks like he breathed in a little too much of that poison gas. He's still unconscious. According to the doctor in the ambulance, there are no external injuries or any other wounds. Thanks to our fortunate timing, we were able to save him before he was too far gone. But he's not out of the woods yet. He's currently being treated by a specialist in the infirmary. I see. Mr. Shields, is he an acquaintance of yours? Yeah, you could say that. He's Dane Gustavia. He was involved in the IS-7 incident. The pastry chef! So he was involved in the case 18 years ago. What's the chances of him being here, right? Eh, at least the other guy's doing alright. Is he a friend of yours, Miles? Uh, I guess, yes. You could say that. It is fortunate you were not hurt, Larry. What? You could say that? Supposed to me, Nudgy? How could you treat a childhood friend like that? That's just cruel! You should be used to this by now. <laughs> And also, when I'm dressed like this, I'm called Larice Donim, you know. So, don't call me Larry. It's Larice. Oh, Larry. Larry, Larry. Are you sure that what that guy passed out from smelling wasn't the butts? Because <laughs> you know what they say. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> oh, I'm not funny. <laughs> This man is Larry Butts. He's nothing but trouble. But he's been one of my friends since grade school, I suppose. <laughs> he did help uh, free you when you were on trial. It was his testimony about it almost being Christmas that saved the day. <laughs> Some time ago, he awakened to the calling of art and assumed the alias Loris Donim. But a butt by any other name would smell just as much. <laughs> nice. Very poetic of you. Really? You two are childhood friends? I better report that to your old man, too. I'm sure it will bring him joy. He was always worried about you not being able to make friends. Good for you, Edgy. Aren't you glad to have a bosom buddy like me? father was worried about something like that. Because your daddy loved you. But anyway, what are you doing in a place like this, Larry? How many times do I have to tell you, Edgy? I'm Larice. What are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> Yikes, don't glare at me when you talk. I just love his crying face because the way his eyes sparkle, it's just super funny. <laughs> oh, I, some people hate Larry or they find him super annoying. He's annoying, but he amuses me and he has a good heart. So I see why they put up with him even though he's annoying and a pain in the butt. <laughs> so are you going to tell me? Isn't it obvious I've come here to study art? I'm going to take Mandy on a date here, so I was just doing some scouting beforehand. What happened in the third game when you were like, ah, oh, swear off women? Psh, that didn't last long. Weren't you just using art as an excuse to go on a date? Not bad, Larice. Maybe you can introduce me to, uh, to some pretty, oh no, introduce some pretty girls to me next time. Ha, they had it right. 
Oh, now you're talking my language, dude! Oh no. <laughs> it's the young and the old pervert. United. I think I'm getting a headache. There are now two of them I have to deal with. By the way, Larisse, did you notice anything strange when you found the victim? No, not really. Nothing that would make you say, I saw something that no one should ever have to see. Oh yeah, he did say that, didn't he? Oh yeah, that. I was just surprised when I saw that old dude fall down out of nowhere like that. I didn't do anything this time, for once. <laughs> Is that anything to brag about? Visitors, we wish to, dis to deeply apologize for the disturbance. I am the curator of this museum. My name is Catherine Hall. She's also one of the people involved in the IS-7 incident. Hello there, Miss Kate. Monsieur Shields, thank you for your continued assistance. She's gotten so pretty. She was already pretty, but she's really, really pretty. So mature. She was the woman we saw at the reception. So, she's the curator here. We apologize for the inconvenience, especially since it's the opening day. No, no, you don't have to apologize for a thing, Miss Kate. Uh, I almost forgot. Let me introduce you to someone. This is Miles Edgeworth. He's Gregory Edgeworth's son. Oh, Monsieur Edgeworth. Oh, cute little dance, my. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> I meet the sun after 18 years. Like, it's just weird to sing like this, but okay. It is an honor to meet you, defense attorney Biles Edgeworth. <laughs> Kate, please. Well, that was amazing. You still got that golden voice, Miss Kate. I ship it. I actually really ship Ray and Kate a lot. Because they were close in age, you know? Um, I wonder if they're gonna show her age here. No, not yet. Because Ray is 36. He, he looks older than he is. Which makes me sad. Typical Ace Attorney. Um, but I think she's in her 30s as well. Actually, I'm a prosecutor. Oh, so you are a prosecutor. My most sincere apologies, Monsieur Edgeworth. This woman is very polite, but slightly odd. Uh, Katie, could I get your autograph right here, pretty please? Yes, if you so desire. Why do you want her autograph? Hey, don't tell me! You don't know who she is! My, my, you really don't keep up with the entertainment news, do you, Miles? What? What is this unbearable atmosphere? I only watch children programs. <laughs> the Steel Samurai. She's a superstar actress who's been in tons of musicals and movies. Ooh. Excuse me. She's a great singer, too. Compared to Binks. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, I am the curator of this museum. I have already retired from the stage. I finished filming my role for my last movie a few days ago. My co-stars also said that they would come here once I opened the doors. And here you are, Monsieur Artiste. I return this to you. a bunch, Katie. I'll treasure for the rest of my life. Well, well, looks like me and Larisse share the same interests. We're gonna have to fight over her, huh? 
Well, the only one who deserves to be rooted for is Ray, so... <laughs> get it, Ray, get it! <laughs> no, I'm sorry. So I got it. Larry, you said you're here to study art. Why don't you practice drawing as well? Since you're here at Miss Hall's art museum. Oh, it would be an honor to have Monsieur Artiste sketch our exhibits. Oh, I guess even you have some good ideas every now and then, Edgy. I'll do a bit of sketching for Katie here. <laughs> what an amazing person. Forgive the disturbance. Incidentally, who was the woman that was with you earlier? That was Madame Delicia de Scones. Hmm. Everybody's here, I see. She is currently assisting in the treatment of Monsieur Gustavia in the infirmary. Even though I said infirmary, since this is an art museum now, it is only provisional. As I am the only staff member working here, I cannot take a leave of my duties for too long. Delicia Scones. I believe you have heard that name before, Mr. Shield. Yep, looks like the whole gang from the IS-7 incident is here. Well, I doubt that's a coincidence. Hmm. Monsieur Shields, Monsieur Edward, would you care for some hot tea? Oh, Miss Kate's tea. That takes me back. Yes, if you please. Are you still gonna use those weird shaped stuff? <laughs> Frickin' tea mugs. Ladder? Looks like it. Oh no, they look circular this time. But it's still sh sh weird, right? Because I see the moon shape. Now I must take my leave. I must explain the situation to the other visitors. There's other visitors still? They didn't run away? Alright, thanks for everything. This smells like Ceylon tea. I should drink it before it cools. Oh, the Ceylon tea is of a very high quality, and this aroma of citrus does wonders for your concentration, right? <laughs> your old man said the exact same thing 18 years ago. Aww. But the saucers back then were chilled. Today they're warm. Hmm. Uh, anyway. Don't you think this current situation is rather unusual? You mean how everyone involved in the case 18 years ago was gathered at this museum? Yes, I would like to be in charge of this case if at all possible. Oh, there they are! I was just thinking, I was like, oh, I think maybe Kay will not be involved this time, but guess I was wrong. Mr. Edgeworth, sir, are you okay? Mr. Edgeworth, Mr. Shields, I came here as fast as I could when I heard that you were done in by the poison gas. I've missed you two. Oh, my sweet honey Kay, how about a hug after being parted for so long? No. Jeez, so you're perfectly fine? I can't believe you made us worry so much. Detective Gumshoe, what's the meaning of bringing Kay here? I'm sorry, sir. You know how she is. I knew the gas was dangerous, so I tried to stop her. No matter how much I ran and ran and, and ran and ran and I kept on running. I ran so far away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gumshoe, please. I couldn't gain any ground. When it comes to running away, no one is faster than the Yadagarasu. Although in this case, he was running away and I was chasing him. But you weren't running away from here. 
Mr. Edgeworth, I'm all set, sir. I'll start investigating the crime scene. You don't have a special team to go in there? You have to go in there with the mask? Since there might still be traces of gas in the room, I'll have to ask everyone to wait here. Very well, I'm counting on you. Good luck in there, Flatfoot. Wow, Gummy's so cool. He's just like a detective. <sighs> but that's what he is. I love how he thinks these things and he never says it out loud. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to argue. Yes, Edgeworth here. Mr. Edgeworth, it looks like the poison gas is dissipated, sir. Whoa. Detective, calmly explain the state of the Autumn Palace. Yes, sir. I'll start with the exhibits. On the left, there's a statue of two people. And on the right, there's a statue of an animal with two horns. Very similar to the other one. Hmm. A little different, but similar. A statue of two people and a statue of an animal with horns. Isn't that the exact same thing I saw in the Winter Palace just a while ago? Also, the room is wet with water thanks to the sprinkler system. That also prevented the gas from harming anyone else. The sprinkler system? Was there a fire in the room? There are no signs of a fire and the fire alarm hasn't gone off either, sir. Sprinklers in this museum are the kind that detects both smoke and fire. If it detects smoke, it will send an alert to the security room. I think the poison gas might have set off the alarm in the security room, sir. Was there anyone in the security room at the time? The only one working here is the curator, Miss Catherine Hall, sir. She has been in the reception booth opposite the security room ever since the museum opened. Did Miss Hall turn on the sprinklers? The sprinkler system can only be ma operated manually from the security room, sir. If it had been automatic, it would have sprayed water all over the exhibit. Since the system is manual, the situation can be examined and the ex exhibits moved if need be. I guess there would be more priority over the exhibits than the building. Only at a museum. Uh, Burr! It's way too cold in this room, sir. Isn't this supposed to be the Autumn Palace? It feels more like the dead of winter in here. Autumn Palace is cold. I checked the thermostat earlier and it was set to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Couldn't believe it. Why would the Autumn Palace be set to the same temperature as the Winter Palace? But look what's inside, it's it's the same. Looks like they use the same material, like ice sculptures, you know? That's about all I know for now, sir. If I figure out anything else, I'll give you another call. I see. I'm counting on you, detective. April 2nd, 11.15 a.m. Zodiac Art Gallery, Phantom Patio. What did Gummy say? He said it feels more like winter in the Autumn Palace. I don't get it. I haven't been able to enter the room personally, but it should be possible to look inside after the police have finished investigating. Hmm, I'd like to know what it's like in there myself. Yeah, because he did think that was the Winter Palace, and he almost went in there, but it was locked, so... Hmm, interesting. Isn't there anyone else who knows about the incident? Ah, there is someone. Miles' is friend, right? Friend? Though he's such a nuisance, we have no choice but to listen to what he has to say for now. Wait, you mean... Hmm, 
you're here too, Kay. You're looking as cute as ever. <laughs> Long time no see. It's Larry, isn't it? Kay, right now my name is Larice. I'm an artist, that's why. Ah, so that's your pen name. Larice, the artist formerly known as Larry. Well, you really are a good girl, Kay. Nothing like edgy here. <sighs> Larry, I have many things I need to ask you. What's this? Don't tell me you suspect me again. You're gonna say because I was first on the scene I must be the culprit, aren't you? I never said anything like that. I only want you to tell me what you saw. You said you saw something that no one should ever have to see, did you not? But now I'm saying I didn't see nothing and I didn't do nothing. Probably. Larry. Don't make me change my mind about liking you somewhat. <laughs> Just a pain. Oh my, he didn't seem so confident at the end there. There are somewhat troublesome circumstances surrounding this man. The saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts, still holds true 26 years on. One could say his tendency to attract trouble is legendary. Seems he's done something troublesome without even realizing it himself. I'll just have to try and extract the truth from him. Mm-hmm. Here we go. <gasps> no! Logic chess? Oh no, <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, with Larry of all people. Oh lord. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh shoot. Alright, let's try. My goal is to expose whatever Larry is hiding. However, I didn't see nothing, I didn't do nothing. Ugh. Larry is an extremely restless and troublesome man. Until he cools down, I'll just wait and see. First, I'll ask him about his goal. This isn't something I can't handle. I'll finish this quickly. Logic chess, begin. Why did you come here? What was your purpose for coming to the art gallery? What? Are you saying that I don't belong in an art gallery? He's worked up. You don't belong here. No, wait and see. Hey, if you're not gonna talk, hold that pose so I can paint your portrait. And then I'll scribble all over the portrait I drew of you. The paintings are all scribbles. Wait and see? Is he still worked up? I... I was just joking. I would never scribble over my paintings, of course. They're works of art, after all. I don't think any of your works would qualify as art. Oh, so now you're just gonna insult him. Okay. Don't look down on me! There are people who recognize my skills as an artist! Okay, he's worked up, I guess. Man, we're just doing a lot of waiting and seeing. Mandy's my girlfriend, but it's really my painting she fell in love with. That's why. I'll sketch anything my girlfriend likes. Then why are you here on your own today? So what? Can't a guy with a girlfriend spend some time alone? Go spend time with her. Now he's worked up, so... Wait and see. Mandy... Oh. Ugh. What voice was that? <laughs> Mandy said she's a Gemini. I thought she'd be happy if I showed her a sketch of it on our next date. Do you really have that much confidence in the sketch? Well, I'm not so confident about this one. But I thought she would be happy if I did a sketch of her astrological sign. Okay, you came to see the Gemini sculpture. Hmm, <laughs> I see. That's just like you. To impress Mandy, you came here to see the Gemini sculpture, didn't you? What? How'd you find out? You literally just told me. But okay, fool. Because you just unknowingly told me everything. Well then, I'm not saying another word from now on. He's finally decided to remain silent. 
In that case, I'll be more relentless in my questioning. Okay, so rather than waiting and seeing, it sounds like we're going to be pressuring him and pushing him. I'll try to find out what he was doing here at the art gallery. Okay, give us some time. I'll expose his true motives. That shouldn't take long. What did you do at the art gallery? You. Just what did you do in this art gallery? What's with that glare? I, I don't really remember anything. I didn't have a pamphlet, so I just loitered around the fountain patio. You forgot to get a pamphlet. Don't they give you a pamphlet at the reception booth after you pay the admission fee? Huh? Oh, is that right? So, the admission wasn't free, huh? Uh-oh. You didn't pay? Don't tell me you sneaked in here without paying. I'm sorry! I didn't mean to do anything bad. It's just... There was no one at the reception booth. That's why I thought you could come in here for free. Ah, interesting. Because didn't we just hear that Miss Kate was supposedly there all day? Hmm. Miss Hall wasn't there. Miss Hall wasn't at the reception booth. Yeah. It didn't look like there was anyone on the other side of the desk. Come to think of it, Gumshoe did say something about that. Miss Hall was busy activating the sprinklers from the security room. Because of the incident, she had to leave the reception booth. Poor Katie, she went to all that trouble to open up the place. And now the art gallery's star attraction, the Winter Palace, is completely ruined. You know about the Winter Palace. You're certainly well informed about the Winter Palace for someone without a pamphlet. The Winter Palace is where your goal, the Gemini Sculpture, is located. You had your sights set on the Winter Palace from the beginning, didn't you? Huh? How'd you find me out again? That's right, my goal was to see this Gemini Sculpture. From the very beginning, the Winter Palace was the very reason why I came here. He confessed quite easily. You can never tell anything with this man. Next, I'll ask for further information regarding the Winter Palace. Okay. He may still have some fight left in him. I'll watch his reactions and extract the information I need. Okay. Uh, did you enter the Winter Palace? Larry, did you also enter the Winter Palace? Oh, what's with that look of distrust? Sure, I tried going in, but... You couldn't get in. You tried to go in, but you weren't actually able to, right? Yeah, that's about right. I wanted to go in, but... Then that old geezer collapsed. I was a little freaked out. It was because of the victim? So you couldn't get in because the victim of the poison gas collapsed. Yeah, he fell right out of the Winter Palace. Hmm? I'm sure the victim emerged from the Autumn Palace. If it weren't for that poison gas incident, I'd be in there sketching the Gemini sculpture right now. Larry must have mistaken the Autumn Palace for the Winter Palace. Aha! Interesting. That aside, it seems his goal was to sketch the sculpture. Huh, <laughs> this should be a useful clue. Okay, what did you see in the Winter Palace? Larry, did you see anything in the Winter Palace? You're still hung up on that. Didn't I say that I didn't see anything? I started to think that it wasn't such a good idea to come to the art gallery. I needed to leave soon to meet with my girlfriend. Perhaps I should try using that clue. What about your sketch? You came here to sketch the sculpture for your girlfriend, did you not? I don't think you would give up that easily. Even after the victim collapsed, you could still see inside the room from the outside, right? 
Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I may have gotten a tiny glimpse, but... There's no evidence that I saw something scary in there, right? Ah, <sighs> Larry, just tell us. You saw something scary. My, my, I'm disappointed it turned out to be this simple. That's why he's not even worthy of your logic chess, but whatever. <laughs> Larry, you saw something scary at the crime scene, didn't you? Edgie, <laughs> you... can you read my mind? In that case, there's no point in keeping any more secrets from you. You just told me everything of your own accord. You fool. It was a complete waste of time, but finally, it's checkmate. I like checkers more. <laughs> Logic chess complete. That was easy, because he's an idiot. I had my eyes fixed on the Gemini sculpture. Objection! You've mentioned the Gemini sculpture many times now, but... I don't believe the sculpture you saw was the Gemini one. What? Was it a mirage then? Larry mistakenly thought he saw the Winter Palace. This piece of evidence shows what Larry really saw. Ah, uh, according to the pamphlet, he was in the Autumn Palace. Wait, what's this one? Oh, okay. But, yeah, a pamphlet. Take a look at this pamphlet. Interesting. Because the Autumn Palace is supposed to be 64 degrees Fahrenheit. But... When he was in there, Gumshoe said it's 27 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature for the Winter Palace. Huh. In the Autumn Palace, the Pisces, Capricorn, Aries, and Aquarius sculptures are displayed. Incidentally, I can confirm that the Gemini sculpture is located in the Winter Palace. Therefore, the sculpture you saw could not have been the Gemini one. I knew it. Huh? I expected him to be a bit more shocked at the news. I thought it was kind of strange. I know I saw a single goddess. And that transformation was no mirage. Huh? Well, we'll find out what he's talking about in the next episode. <laughs> Nice little cliffhanger. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye.